I'm back in the kitchen and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these amazingly delicious chocolate fudge bites. They're so tasty and they're a great replacement for sweets if you're trying to be healthy and they're great to give to kids as well because there's absolutely no added sugar in these, no chemicals, no preservatives so it's all natural and a great treat and a lot of fun to make as well. So a few recipes floating around the internet for this kind of thing. Chocolate covered Katie has a lot of recipes similar to this and I saw some on Pinterest as well but I kind of winged it and adapted it to my tastes and I've created my own little Frankenstein's monster that tastes amazing and isn't bad for you. So let's get going. This recipe couldn't be simpler. All you'll need is three quarters of a cup of dried date and then you'll need some kind of nut butter. I'm using whole almond butter, but you could use cashew, peanut, or even coconut oil. Then you'll need some kind of natural vanilla extract and a cocoa powder. I'm using green and blacks organic. You can use a more milk chocolate one if you like. Again, just experiment. Then you'll need something to roll them in. I'm using desiccated coconut and some chopped nuts, but again, experiment and go wild if you like. You'll also need a food processor. Now, the better the food processor, the smoother this will be, but this is just a value one from Argos. It was super cheap and it definitely does the job. There's absolutely zero cooking involved with these. You just kind of throw everything in the food processor and blitz it up. So we're gonna start off with the three quarters of a cup of dates. Then we're going to add in our chocolate powder, I'm going to add in two tablespoons, but you can adjust this to your tastes, half a teaspoon of organic vanilla extract, and then we're going to add in whatever nut butter or oil, so I'm adding in about a tablespoon. Once everything's in the food processor, switch it on and just blend everything up until you get a really smooth paste. Now this can take a few minutes. Take a look at your mixture and if it will stick together then you're fine but mine didn't so I just added a little bit of sweet freedom which is a no sugar sweetener, you can use honey as well but you might not need to do this step. When your mixture's done take it out of the food processor and using a spoon make sure it's all mixed in properly. With clean hands roll it into balls and then you can cover it in the coconut and the chopped nuts and you can get creative with this and just use whatever you want really. But that's your finished product, we're done. So that's all there is to it. Usually I stick these in the fridge or in the freezer depending on what kind of country you live in. It's pretty cold in the UK so I get away with sticking them in the fridge but if you want to stick them in the freezer and have them harden up a little bit then you can do that too. Obviously these are still a treat but they're a treat you don't have to feel so bad about and if you're giving them to kids then you know that there's no kind of chemically crap in there that's going to make them go crazy and go all hyper and harm them. It's kind of like that German or Belgian kind of chocolate where it's really rich and gourmet, it's not like a chocolate truffle kind of flavour. If you want them to be a bit lighter then you can experiment and add different things like you could add your favourite hot chocolate powder mix in there. I just wanted to use cocoa powder to keep them vegan and to make sure they're as clean as possible ingredients wise. You can also up the protein content of these by adding in your favourite protein powder. So there's kind of an endless list in terms of the modifications that you can do. You can really adapt them to your tastes and to your diet but I hope you had fun watching this video and if you guys recreate this then please Instagram or tweet me a picture all my social media links are down below if you do tweet it then use the hashtag healthy happy life so I can find them it'll be much easier that way I really love it when you guys recreate recipes and send them to me I had so many for the pizza rolls and yeah it's a lot of fun for me thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye